In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a carousel Facebook ad. I'm going to show you everything you need to know step by step. Carousel Facebook ad is one of the easiest way to showcase multiple products on Facebook ad. This is the kind of advert that Jumia are running, the kind of advert that Temu and Gigi are running. Those are the adverts that when you see them on Facebook, you'll be able to scroll, scroll, scroll by your left and you're seeing different products they are showing you with the same advert. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It is not only Jumia and Gigi that are running this type of advert. If you have several products that you want to advertise, let's say for instance you are an e-commerce vendor, you are selling shoes, different colors, different quality, or you're selling watches, different quality, you can run a carousel ad that is going to be showing people different sizes, different quality of these watches with just one advert. So I'm going to show you how to create this advert in this video. All right, let's just get started into it and follow me step by step. So the very first thing to do always is to click on create. Whenever you want to create an advert, just click on create. Okay, when you click on create, now, it's less for you to choose whether you want lead or you want sales. But I want to assume that this advert is going to be for sales. So, I'm going to choose sale and click continue. Once I click continue, it's going to take me to the campaign column. Then, I'm going to name it carousel ad. If you have been following me on this channel, you know that I always like to name it so that I can immediately remember it whenever I go there. Because I create multiple adverts and I don't want to be confused when I see this advert. So I'm just going to name it Carousel. All right. I'm just going to name it Carousel Ad so that I can remember it immediately. So the next thing that we'll do here now, after we've chosen the name, is to remove this thing from campaign budget and bring it down to asset budget. All right. So if you'll be following me, you also know that I do not like to use campaign budget strategy. I like to use ad set budget strategy so that's what i just changed now and once we do that i'm just going to click on next there's no other thing i'm doing in the campaign column so the next thing here it takes me to the ad column and i'm still going to name it carousel so that i can remember it okay I've, I've named this carousel and the next one I'm going to choose my conversion location. Of course, because I'm running advert that is going to be showing multiple qualities and size of a product, I want people to go to my website. So I'm just going to choose website. Okay. I'm just going to choose website right away. All right. And then the performance goal is maximize number of conversions. Maximize number of conversion. That's the one I'm going to choose. Okay. So I've just chosen it. And this is my pixel. This video is not about how to set up your pixel. There are multiple videos on this channel you can watch if you want to set up your pixel. I'm going to link the video in the description. It's going to show you how to set up your pixel and install it on your website. So I have chosen the pixel and I'm just going to choose an active pixel here, all right? So in that video, you are going to see how to make your pixel active and all of that. So now I have chosen it and I'm just going to go to the budget. If you follow me, you know that my budgeting, I always like to start with small amount, at least for the beginnings, before I get what is working. And I use daily budget. I don't use lifetime budget. I always use daily budget, okay? For the scheduling, I'm recording this video on October 4, so I want this advert to start by October 5 by 4 a.m. in the morning, all right? By 4, around 4 a.m. in the morning. Now, the next thing here is our location. We want the advert to show to a particular location, and for this advert, I'm just going to leave it at Nigeria. But of course, you can choose any other country you want. For instance, if I want Ghana, I'm just going to type Ghana here, and it's going to show. If I want Germany, if I want Congo, anywhere I want, all right? But for now, I'm just going to leave it at Nigeria. So the next thing here is Advantage Plus Audience. This is Advantage Plus Audience, okay? This is Advantage Plus Audience, and what the, what that means is that you are going to give Facebook the opportunity to find your customers. That is what the Advantage Plus audience simply means. But I'm going to just click on Add Suggestion so that you see more options that we have here. Okay. 
Assuming you have custom audiences, this is where you add it. Now, you might be wondering what is custom audiences. There are video on what custom audience is, how to create it, how to use it to run ad. Just check the video description for the link of that video. Then the age, you are going to find different age, but I always like to leave mine at 18 to 65. The gender, I like to leave it at both gender. You know, now I have noticed that even if you are selling a product for men or for women, it is good for you to just leave it at both gender. Because if you choose one particular gender, Facebook might want to punish you with higher cost per conversion. So you don't have to take my word for it. Create two adverts. Let the only thing you change be men or women. Or you can choose one gender or you can choose all of them. You will now compare and contrast. Oh, which one is giving me the best result? That's how... I was able to come to the conclusion that whenever you choose all gender, even though you are selling a particular product that is meant for one gender, you are still going to get the best results. Okay. So I'm going to choose all gender. Detail targeting. This is where you can put in any targeting option that you want. For instance, if I'm selling watches, I can type something like watches people that are interested in watches people that are interested in luxury watches and all of that i can just choose any of them however my best bet is to always leave this thing empty anyways so i like to leave it empty sometimes then another thing i pay attention to is my estimated audience size estimated audience size okay so you see estimated audience size is very small let me remove that key keyword that I type, you are going to see that the estimated audience size is going to become very, very big. Okay. Now, let's see. Of course, 20 million to 24 million because I left this targeting open. Now, you might wonder, ah, is this not too much? Facebook favors broad audience. Facebook favors broad audience a lot. Okay. If you want to verify this thing, just run both uh, adverts, one with targeting, one with zero targeting, and then compare the one that works for your business and then you use it. Okay. So, but I just like to leave this empty anyways. Then the next one here is placements. Now, Placement means where do you want Facebook to show your ad? Do you want Facebook to show your ad on your Facebook, on Instagram, on Messenger, on Trend, on Audience Network? So this is where you choose all of these things. Okay, this is where you choose them. So for these platforms, these platforms, I can just immediately choose which one. If I don't want them to show on Audience Network, I'll just uncheck it. If I don't want them to show on Messenger, I'll uncheck it. And then the only places that my advert is going to show is Facebook, Instagram, and Trend. As Apart from this platform, you're also going to choose, you know, when it comes to Facebook, there's Facebook Field, there's Facebook Story, there's Facebook Reel, there's Facebook Search Bar, there's Facebook Profile, there are a lot of them. So this is where you get to choose which of them do you want your advert to show. Anyone you do not want, you just uncheck it. I don't want them to show on search results, I uncheck it. All right. So the one you don't want to uncheck it, then the one you want to leave it there. Okay. So that's that for the placement. Most of the time, I actually just want to leave it at automatic placement. I have just found out also that when you leave it at automatic placement, you know, sometimes Facebook tends to find you cheaper results per se. Because some of these things, if you try to restrict Facebook too much, they are going to have issue with getting your customer because you have already restricted them a lot. But if you give them that freedom, you know, sometimes because they know all the data, they know all the interests, they know all the things you do not even know about your audience online because they, they have all the data. So sometimes they, get, they tend to get your buyer more. So what you need to focus on is writing copy, eye-catching visuals and making your offer irresistible. If you do that very well, you are definitely going to get results. The next thing here is I click on next and it takes me to the ad column. It takes me to the ad column. Now let me click on next. Okay. Now, I'm already in the ad column now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this carousel so that I can easily remember it. Okay. 
Okay. Now, once I do that, I'm going to scroll down to select the particular Facebook page. So I can select, I have a lot of Facebook pages, but you need to select the particular one that you want to use. Okay. If you select a page and you are seeing this page back Instagram account, then you might need to connect your Instagram. That is if you are running the adverts on Instagram. But if you chose to run the adverts only on Facebook, you will not see all those pop up because you are not actually running the adverts on Instagram. So what this means is that this, this Facebook page does not have access to Instagram. So you can just simply connect your account and you log in on your Instagram and connect your page. But that's not what we're going to be doing here. So we're just going to scroll, go to our creative. That is where we can actually insert the carousel. Now, this is the website. You just copied your website link and place it here. Whatever the website link is that you want to send people to, you copy it and place it right here. So let's go down to creative. Let's remove this. To creative. You see this format here? This is where you choose, you know, whenever you're running advert, there are several formats of advert. Do you want a single image or video? A single image or video meaning you are just going to upload one image or one video for that advert. But because this advert is about carousel, we are going to select this carousel here. So once you select carousel, you are going to see all other options where you can add a lot more pictures and text okay so you see this thing here add up to 10 different card okay up to 10 different card if you come down here you're going to see this primary text you're going to see this call to action but let's click on 10 different cards so add image card or add video card depending if you want to use images i talked about selling shoe or selling watches so i'm just going to add images Okay, for instance now, let's say this is the image. This is just like a demonstration. Let's say I want to use some of these images. For instance, this first one, I can click continue. If I want, I can write a headline. I can write a description. I can write a particular copy for this particular headline. So once I have added a particular card, I can write a headline, I can write a separate description for that particular card. If I finish, I'll come and add another card and then I add image. This is how you're going to do it until they are up to 10. If you want, that's, if, if I'm advertising a product that I just have five images, then there are five that I'll add. I don't need to add up to 10. Do you understand? So I can add another card here. Add image again. This is how you're going to do it until you finish adding how many images you want to add. You know, when the advert is running on Facebook, I'm going to add another card. When the advert is running on Facebook, they will be able to slide different pictures that you have added here and they will be able to see it. Why the carousel ad is important, especially if you're into e commerce, is that people want to buy different variations of product. And that's why you see Jumia, you see Congo, you see Gigi, you see Temu, they are running this kind of advert so that they can show you more options, more options. Now, this is a, simply how to write the carousel ad. I'm going to, if you can do this, you see, I've added one, two, three, four, five. So I've added five images, but if you want, you can add several ones. So you can see, this is how you can easily scroll, slide it, and you'll be able to see this particular pictures okay this is easily how to create carousel ad. remember that we have added our headline we've added our description and also we have added our primary test okay we've added our primary test so the next thing here now is to choose our call to action so this is where you add your primary test the next thing here is to choose our call to action because it is a e-commerce product you can use get offer you cannot really use download because they are not downloading anything. So you can use get offer. You can use learn more. You can use shop now. You see the kind of call to action I'm using. It's something that has to do with shopping. 
something that has to do with buying that's the co best call to action to use for this particular advert once you finish that there is no other thing you are going to do here. Of course, make sure that your pixel is active and tracking. Watch the video in the description for how to install, track, and also make sure that your pixel is working in 2025. I hope this video has been a blessing. And if you want to learn more videos on how to run Facebook advert, make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell because there are various videos that I upload every single time that will help you to get results completely free. So I will see you in the next video.